On this week's episode, we talk about the Nexus 5. It's finally announced. Is Motorola announcing a cheaper Moto X? And a whole lot more on the Google Guys. Hello, everyone. Today, we're just going to completely jump right into it again. Uh, really quick news. All right, so the first story we have here out of the top five that we have. Uh, the, the Nexus 5. Anyway, the Nexus 5 is a new phone from Google. I was just looking at my cat started going crazy. So basically, Nexus 5 has been announced with Android 4.4. Android 4.4 is going to be the... F- Excuse me. <laughs> it's going to be the... F- Nexus 5 is going to be the first phone with Android 4.4. So, right here now we have the uh, Nexus 5. You can see it here. There's videos playing of it. Uh, people are starting to put up videos of it. Crunch, and this is a really quick look at the brand new Nexus 5. So, basically, this new phone has, if you buy this phone, you'll future-proof your phone. You're you're not going to have to get a new one for quite some while. It's not like six months later you have to get a new phone. It's not like that. Android 4.4, it just makes it completely fast. It adds more features. It's a 5-inch phone, or 4.9, 5 inches, whatever. And it's big, apparently. I haven't tried it out yet, but it's big, apparently. Really big. So we have new features, uh, HDR plus mode this camera has, which lets it take photos completely rapidly. Uh, the camera is, this is TechCrunch saying this now, they're saying it's it's above average, but it's not mind blowing. Uh, what are the cats doing? The minute I start recording, the minute I push recording, my cats just go mad. <laughs> so Google now, uh, you swipe left from the screen and Google now pops up. So instead of dragging up from the... You can still do this, but if you drag up from the home button, you can still get your Google Now. All right, I'm going to kill this fella. All right. So, Google Now is kind of weird now because if you say... When you're on your home home screen, this is not like the Moto X when it's like when you're in any single app. You can say, okay, Google Now, or okay, Google, whatever. Yeah, it's okay, Google. It doesn't listen to you all the time. But this uh, Nexus 5 now, it listen, or Android 4.4 to be precise, it listens to you on your home screen. So if you're on your home screen, you don't have to be on your, like, you don't have to be in an app. It doesn't actually work if you're in some other app. But right now, this, God, they're going crazy. <laughs> Too hyper for this. <laughs> so now if you say, okay, Google, uh, on the home screen, it pops right up and you have your Google now. So we'll talk about a bit more, than, uh, bleh, we'll talk a bit more about this later. So next one we have here is that Best Buy. This is more about the Google Nexus 5. It's selling on the Google Play Store now for $350. I think it's sold out now, but still, it doesn't matter. But Best Buy, if you go onto our website, uh, you can see here that you can upgrade it for $150, you know, typical, whatever. But if you're to replace it, like uh, the phone only, like off contract, it's $799. That's $800 if you round it off. And they're selling it with 16 gigs of memory. What if they have the 13 gigs? That's like really expensive. So it's a lot more than Google. So you have to say even Sprint is uh, charging $449, which is a hundred more than Google are. So you're basically better off than go to like go to the Google Play Store and just buy it there. You get like a hundred dollars cheaper than Sprint, and it's like. Why would Best Buy be doing this? Like, there's not really a point of them doing this, unless idiots just go over. Oh, it's cheap. It's seven hundred ninety nine dollars. But yeah, we. We'll, we'll, that's that. That's kind of stupid. So. Okay, I'm not going to talk about about this anymore. So, Motorola, they announced this crazy thing called Project Ar- Ara Ara, whatever you're going to call it, but. Do you remember phone blocks, that thing with the modular, uh, is there a picture over here? It's the thing with the modular, so like you have different parts of your phone. So instead of just buying, if you bought, say the Nexus 5 now, I said it's future proof, but when it's not and it's kind of outdated and the specs aren't good, instead of completely dumping that phone that you paid your good hard, hard earned money for, you can just, uh, say if the processor is slow, you just swap it out with a new one. So Project Arrow right now is basically saying, this is a, they said that they've been working on this for the last year and they've partnered up with phone blocks right now, which is good because they were, they put up a big video on YouTube, uh, there's a thing here about it, 
they put up a video on YouTube saying, uh, oh yeah, we can make this, uh, or we can make this phone, but if you basically are a phone company, share it to the phone companies, say, that, oh yeah, this is great, we want this. So yeah, here, look, you can just like say, if you don't need a microphone, say you don't need it, you don't need an audio jack or something like that, or say you just don't need a great camera, or maybe you don't need Bluetooth, or a micro SD slot, you can take out all that stuff and put in a big processor. And say if you want to have a good speaker, you can put in like a Bose speaker, uh, just completely design your phone. And if you kind of get sick of one of the, if the, uh, if you get sick of the speakers, you're saying, oh, they're not good. I want like stereo speakers instead of mono ones. You can completely just switch it around. And there's been just so much waste, uh, yeah, so look, even here they're saying that there's, like I said, there's not enough space in my device. Why don't you just upgrade it? It seems like, well, I guess desktop PCs are kind of like that. It's not like you buy a new PC just because the graphics card isn't great. You replace that graphics card with an even faster one. So you don't have to scrap everything in your PC. And why can't phones be like this? Because it's completely wasting a phone. So next one here we have Google Glass. Now Google Glass, uh, the first one came out. And it was good. It's $1,500. Only for a select amount of people. But right here now we have the it's kind of second version. It's still in Explorer Edition. Uh, and it's not out to the public yet. It's still a kind of an invite only thing. And it's weird. So you still have to pay the money. You have to get invited. So this one here is the second Explorer Edition. You can get an upgrade. It has an earphone jack it's you can you can plug it out so it's not like you have to be wearing an earphone all the time you can plug it out uh of the actual glass there's kind of an audio jack there <laughs> i'm not caught up <laughs> and there is a i think that's basically it that's there now so you can just see it on different ones it doesn't look like they've changed the design any bit except add this kind of earbud thing this is all we've kind of heard about it so yeah this is a mono earbud so it's only for uh, your left ear. Oh no, what is it? Yeah, your right ear, sorry. So they just kind of said, uh, well, lots of questions. We'd rather show than tell. So here you go, the mono earbud and the glass that explorers will be getting. Uh, so they're swapping it out. They're not keeping the uh, the first one. They're swapping it, which is kind of weird. So I guess instead of paying an extra 1,500, you can just swap it, I guess. So that's pretty good. Uh, so they just said again, oh yeah, the earbud plugs into uh, glass, you can choose whether to use it or not. Which is good, so if you don't want to use it, you don't have a, an earbud dangling it down from the side of your glasses. And apparently this uh, glass now has um, prescription lenses on them. I don't think there's much here about it, but apparently they do have prescription lenses on them, which is kind of cool. So you can add that uh, capability to your glasses. So, they're pretty good. If you wanted to, like, instead of that bone conducting thing, which I guess some people don't like, I think that's still in there. People are saying, oh yeah, what happened to this bone conducting system? Is it still here? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh yeah, so people are just commenting, saying, oh yeah, the bone conduction was, it was okay for most things, but it was terrible for phone calls, apparently now. I've never used Google Glass in my life. I've never seen it in real life. So I don't know. I've never talked to someone that used them, but bone conducting, I guess, it's a good idea. It I never kind of figured out how it worked as much, but I'd say the earbud was kind of a good step, and you can take it out, so if you, like, you can just put it in your handbag or your pocket or something. <laughs> so, next story here. Google's, we were talking about this last week, I think. Google has a mysterious San Francisco barge. And people were saying, oh, is this something to do with, uh, what were they going to say? They were saying it's a secret data center, like a floating data center. And that's what everybody was saying. There was uh, people saying in articles that it was just a floating data center. And that's basically all they know. But according to like a local TV station in uh, San Francisco, KPIX5, they said, I'll just play a bit of it here. They said it's a, it's a showroom. This is KPIX 5 News. 
Tonight, it's a mystery no more. We have the goods on the Google. Confirms it's been ongoing for more than a year. Spawned in the so called Google X division of the company, cloaked in secrecy even from most employees, but personally directed by Google's co founder, Sergey Brin. A movable high tech showroom for Google projects and products, reserved for. So basically, what they said that it's a. Uh kind of a modular showroom. So it's for showing off Google Glass. Uh, so I guess, do you know the way they were saying that they were kind of going around uh, the States and kind of around the world, just showing off Google Glass? Cause like everybody knows about it. They've never used it before. If you see someone on the streets uh, that are say like a YouTuber or something they're recording, oh yeah, it's that Google Glass. Everybody's going crazy because it's this new thing that nobody's seen before. So this is a good idea for Google to go around the world. A big building. So it is a big building you can see here. And it's modular. So they can put this on a, a boat or something and take it anywhere around the world. So what they're planning to do is instead of renting a building or solid ground or anything like this, they just travel around and put this, say on a boat or something, and they put this big thing together and put it on the water. But they're having some problems now. Uh, this video here said that they're, it doesn't look like there's anything happening here. It's part of the Google X thing. And they're saying that there's nothing happening. That If you're looking at it right now, there's nothing happening at all. And this was supposed to have VIP decks on top. Look right here now. It was showrooms on the bottom. So three layers of, uh, three stories of showrooms for Google, Google Glass. And then upstairs you have a VIP party deck. So this is a good idea. Instead of renting all this space for like, just you'd spend thousands just renting all this space around the world because they're planning to go everywhere really. I think it's around the States first, I'm not sure. But instead of renting all this space, you can just have this big floating barge, I guess, that you can take apart, put it on a boat or something. But they're having some problems that, what's to say here, I forget. The onboard, uh, oh no. Sorry. Yeah, it said that apparently now that the Coast Guard is giving out to them because. Where is this now? I can't find it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, here. So apparently that it's held for various reasons, including a need to comply with naval regu re regulations, and Google isn't commenting on the barge's true purpose. And if you. If I put it back here now, they uh, this KPIX uh, this thing they asked the coast they asked the coast guard an obligation to protect sensitive proprietary information. And regarding barge BAL 0010 moored at Treasure Island, Coast Guard personnel have been on board to conduct routine inspections and ensure compliance with safety, security, and environmental protection regulations. But surprisingly, they won't say whether the barge is in compliance. Now the doc. Okay, so this is just. It's weird the way they're doing this. Google, Google X. If you don't know that, it's kind of a secret. Uh, Google's kind of secret division, I guess, that not much people know about. It's only, only a select amount of staff know about it, and are involved about it. So Google doesn't tell their employees unless the ones that are selected. So, this is weird. They're kind of caught up here now because this is supposed to go around the place and they could take it apart and, you know, this is supposed to be all designed for Google Glass and all this stuff. And they are paying a lot of money for this. But now they can't because uh, it's classed as a vessel, I think, right now. It's not just a floating thing anymore. It's classed as a vessel. So that's all we're going to talk about that. You can go over to... Uh, the link will be in the description for this. You can go over and watch this video if you want, the full video. I'm just not going to play it now just for copyright reasons and all that. So next up here, we're going to talk about the Nexus 5 again. So let's go over here. Some more detail on this if you want to stick around for it. TechCrunch tech crunch have said uh, their thoughts so far. It's quite nice looking. The soft touch back is nice. Uh, it's five inches, it's big, really big, and bigger in fact, and I'd say it's too big, okay? 
and uh, Android 4.4 Google search is now automatically integrated into every single page of your home screen launch here so it's home screen uh, only basically so you can say okay Google and then it comes up instantly I've seen videos of it already and it comes up completely instantly now so it's always on your home screen instead of like dragging up from that uh, from the whole or from the navigation bar whatever it's called dragging up from that home button and it shows the Google icon it's not like that you just if you're on your home screen now that's that home button thing still there just because uh, for people that like are in apps this thing is only for the home screen now when you slide to the left so if you slide to the left it shows Google now just like it would when you drag up from the uh, home button so the camera is above average it's not mind-blowing I thought it was okay I looked at some pictures of it uh, people are saying it's smooth this is the processor and all that it's really smooth every it's like butter this is what they're saying it's, it's their smoothest Android experience they've ever seen apparently uh, Android F 4.4 they have a new dialer so if you typed in a uh, coffee to the dialer it would come up with like Starbucks Costa coffee Pete's coffee just it's eight plus locations apparently near you so uh, it's broken down by the location and who's nearest and it shows it's yeah each offering their phone number so like Starbucks you type that in your nearest Starbucks it shows their number pizza if you want to order pizza the nearest pizza place nearest eight pizza places uh, it shows their number which is good so this is all used Google is really good at integrating like Google now and Google Maps and stuff into all these services so it's integrated with Google Maps so it knows your uh, nearest uh, pizza place or coffee place or whatever you're talking about so Google has a HD or plus mode I think this is for the uh, Nexus 5 not Android 4.4 but it takes rapid photos so you hold down on the uh, the whatchamacallit the take photo but what's it called the button anyway to take photos and it takes like rapid photos so it's fast it said the camera can be slow twice I moved the camera before it was done but after the shutter sound went off ending up with a photo on the of the ground <laughs> So they're saying Android 4.4 is uh, largely focused on optimization. So one big thing about Android 4.4 is that every time, like, you know, you see your friend's Samsung Galaxy Ace, which has like Android 2.3 or even 2.2 in some cases, and you're like, ugh, get with the days. And it's like, oh yeah, look at my device, it's butter, <laughs> and there's this crap. One thing is because they have like a hundred dollar phone, and I know some people can't afford it, but still, the Nexus 5 is $350, or if you buy from Best Buy, $800. But it's cheap enough if you want a 32 gig model, which most people don't need nowadays, it's $400, it's only an extra $50. Uh, so it's largely focused on optimization. And the reason why some of these devices, like the Galaxy Ace, don't get upgraded is because once uh, it may not be fast enough, you may not have enough RAM or CPU power and sometimes the carrier or not carriers the uh, like Samsung they don't bother to update them this has been a big thing with Samsung they don't update their phones a lot they only update the kind of newer s3 and s4 and like the note brand or the note uh, phones so it says that it's largely focused on optimization which lets you if you're on a phone with like two gigabytes of RAM it's gonna be super fast if you're on a phone with 512 megabytes of RAM it's still going to be okay because that's the minimum requirement right now. If you have 512, 512 megabytes of RAM, you couldn't run Je Jelly Bean the last, last time. But if you have Android 4.4, you can because it's 512 megabytes of RAM. And you're able to do that. Uh, let's optimize for it. So there's other stuff here. The top bar and bottom nav bar are both translucent. So they're transparent. You can see through them. You see your wallpaper. It's nice. <laughs> Sorry. So the widget drawer has been moved out from the pop-up app drawer, which always seemed like a weird location, I know, and back at being a long press on the home screen, which like which it was for a couple of versions actually. So people might be used to that. So the Nexus Five went on sale this Monday and was almost immediately sold out. I know I went onto it. Uh, I went onto the UK store. I had to use a VPN and different account and stuff. And I saw that the white version was still in stock. It was. It still said that it was. It was gonna take a while. And the Nexus Five Black Edition. This is sixteen gigabytes now. I don't know the thirty-two gigabytes. Everybody seemed to, seemed to buy the uh, sixteen gig. 
but that was out of stock and it was November 8th I, th 8, I think so just looking at some pictures here it's a pretty nice phone the screen is 1080p you have this uh, new Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor which is like 2.2 or 2.3 gigahertz which is super fast it's like compare that to your laptop your laptop could be like one or two gigahertz you know depends on how what laptop you bought uh, the SMS app has been replaced with Hangouts so you know you don't have that uh, messages app you just have Hangouts which I guess it's cool some people might get a get bit confused it's here though which instead of looking in your app drawer where's the messages it's here on your app or it's here in your dock uh, by default so this is just some pictures of the phone it's a nice phone you can see say uh, it says say okay Google and if you say that it instantly comes up and you can see the soft touch back here where it says LG Nexus and that big camera uh, looks a lot like the Nexus 7 so the rumors that we had a couple of weeks ago they were so true it was weird the way they were true because usually you know the iPhone 5c we kind of knew that was going to come out but we didn't know if it was what specs it was going to have well you never really know what iPhone and some phones you never really know about oh god excuse me it sounded weird so moving on so the next or the Moto X a lot of people were excited about this phone it was hyped up a load and then they said it was US only in Canada only so here the Moto G which is apparently an entry-level quad-core smartphone that will launch by the holiday season so Christmas or whatever it is so it, it is a good enough phone 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor that's good water repellent coating easy to use it can stream YouTube check your Gmail browsing on Chrome uh, over 1 million apps of Google Play long battery life and GPS it's running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. You have a 1280 by 720 screen. Uh, good camera. It's a 720p 30fps camera. You have uh, Bluetooth 4.0, quad band, uh, Wi-Fi HSP, HSPA plus. You have eight gigabytes of storage, and it's just a oh yeah, five megapixel camera. So it's similar to the Moto X. It's just that uh, specs are kind of low on this thing. But if I was, it's, sorry, £135, uh, pounds. I think this is uh, off contract. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, £135 pounds and $215 off contract, which is amazing. Because it, when your friends, like, they buy a crappy Samsung Galaxy Ace, I just hate that phone so badly. They buy that phone and it's Android 2.3, it's, it's slow, and it is probably £135. Pounds. And I'm like, eh, there's not really two great phones. Like, there's not much phones that, you know, you get Android 4.3 and good specs. But this is like quad core processor. And you have Android 4.3. That's all I care about. I don't care. Oh, yeah, and the screen as well. I don't care about camera or video or connectivity. As long as it has Wi-Fi and you can make calls. That's enough for people. And it's Android 4.3, which is completely just amazing. Uh... I'm just hyped up about this. If I was saying uh, to a friend, if this comes out in Ireland and somebody wants a phone, I'm telling them this phone. I was like, oh, you can get the Nexus 5. How much is it? Uh, $350, I think it is. Uh, too expensive. But if you're saying it's $135, it's a good phone. So there's also no uh, words of a US release. So Americans wanting a Moto G will have to be patient, which is good because it's usually US only. And I know a lot of people in the US are lucky and, and all that, but it's like UK only now. But it says UK and uh, it's just UK, I think. I'm not sure. Hopefully it'll span out to uh, Ireland and, you know, France, Spain, Germany, you know, big countries, I guess. And they didn't reveal anything yet. This is only, they may have already uh, spoiled the launch, but they didn't reveal anything. This is only a leak photo, leak photo. If they kind of put these posters around the place and it made it kind of easy for people to figure out because if you just like put a poster up with a, with a specs sheet, people are like, what? But if you say Android 4.3 Jelly Bean, I guess some people might know what that is, but if you say like, a, you could say 4.5 inch 1280 by 720, people might, not you can just say 720p, but if you can just say HD screen or something and say 720p next to it and this is going to make if they do make posters like this put them up in stores and stuff 
and it's going to make it easier for people to know oh yeah this is a good phone Moto G, oh yeah, this is cheap, it's a good phone, it looks like a good phone. They can ask uh, people that are kind of techy, oh yeah, this is a good phone, and I might buy that phone. It's kind of a good business model for Motorola to do this. Because the Moto X was kind of one of those phones that was, it's not exactly cheap, but it's still a good phone. It's one of those phones for the geeks. And then you have the uh, Moto G, which is just the uh, entry-level phone, just for the normal kind of person that doesn't have enough money to spend on a phone. And they don't want a Galaxy S4 or HTC One or Nexus 5. So yeah, that's basically it for this one. It's a cheap phone. All I have to say now, it's a good phone. 1.2 gigahertz quad core. Uh, 5 megapixel camera. It's still all good. $135 for a phone. £135, sorry. But for a phone that's that cheap and you get those good specs. If you compare it to a Galaxy Ace, which came out two years ago and has a, like, a 480p screen and you have Android 2.3. It's just a crappy phone compared to this. But Motorola seems to be doing good. This is basically Google. Google owns Motorola, so it seems like this is going to do good, this phone. I think it's going to do good. So next story we have here is about Android 4.4 again. This is about the HTC One and people are asking, uh, when is the HTC One, or when is Android 4.4 coming on the HTC One? Even Nexus devices sometimes it takes a while. Samsung hardware. Uh, even my dad though, he has a HTC one. He's stuck on four two two. And I said, Oh, I've I've like I'm nearly at four point four point four now, yeah? And he says, Oh, I'm on four point two point two and I, he said, Oh, I'm getting four point three later and I'm like, Nah, I'm on four point four. I'm just saying that even. But they do take a while, but Samsung and the HTC are pretty good at updating their kind of better devices like the S four and the the HTC one and the Note devices and Google has announced that Android 4.4 uh, is to debut on the Nexus 5, so it's pre-installed on the Nexus 5, which is the first device to come out with uh, Android 4.4. But for other devices like the Nexus 7, the Nexus 4, the Nexus 10, uh, it's coming out later this week, apparently, and across the next kind of two weeks or one week or something. It usually takes a while. It kind of rolls out to different people. Uh, it depends, really. It's kind of in random order. And... They're saying the Google editions of the Galaxy S4 and HTC will we get uh it will get the it will get Android 4.4 a bit faster than the uh the HTC one that's just normal you sense you don't have the Google edition. So I'm just reading up on this now. I haven't really seen this. This is one of the articles I haven't really read yet. So moving on to other manufacturers, the HTC. Oh yeah, sorry. One thing as well that Nexus fans are kind of disappointed about. It's not coming to the Galaxy Nexus. They said on a blog post, they announced that, it, no special keynote or anything, they said it on a blog post, uh, Android 4.4 and the Nexus 5 are out. That's basically what they said. I know it's not as great than another one, like, you know, Apple do keynotes and it kind of hypes up people. But they basically said on this blog post, uh, oh yeah, it's out now. Go buy it. Android 4.4, it's coming out on all these devices. Except the Galaxy Nexus. And people were going crazy. I went on Google Plus and it was a Halloween night. And I was just sitting down on my laptop. And I was like, oh yeah, uh, the Nexus 5 is out now. And Android 4.4 are good. And people were going crazy. They were starting petitions. Uh, Please put Android 4.4 in the Galaxy Nexus. And I was like, that phone's like two years old now. You might, I know it's still a good phone. And it's like, what is it? Like a gigabyte of RAM? Two gigabytes of RAM? I think it's a gigabyte and it's still a good phone if you're on android 4.3 and there's people debating oh yeah google promised that uh you should put android 4.4 on this and the newest versions and i just said there's going to be cyanogen mod out in a couple of weeks for android 4.4 just go get that that may be okay so people are just going crazy i know if i did have a galaxy nexus i didn't want to upgrade i was happy with it i would have probably went crazy too but still the nexus 5 is a cheap phone and it is going to get the newest update, so why not get that? It, it, it's still an extremely cheap phone. You can just save up for it. You don't need the newest update straight away. One comment I said, there are thir- third world problems. It's not like you need the newest updates. I know some people are just going crazy because they're geeks and stuff, but you don't exactly need the newest one. I mean, you wait a couple of weeks for the Cyanogen mod, but still. If you do have a Galaxy Nexus, I know Apple did this. I have an I, I had an iPhone 3G back in the day. I sound so old now. And I was just so angry 
because like Android four or iOS five point was out, and I was just like, oh, I'm I'm not able to get this update. It's not the newest version, and I was just going crazy because it like, I was like, my phone's not that old. But I kind of did realize like the Android f- or iPhone f- four was out at that time, even four S I think. And I guess you do kind of have to realize that's an old phone, and you know Apple does this a lot. You can just get a new phone, a cheap phone. I uh, like the Nexus Five. It still is a completely cheap phone. Three hundred fifty dollars. Compare that to a uh, Galaxy S Four off contract. It's still pretty cheap, like. So according to the president of HTC America, the Google editions of the One will be getting the update in less than two weeks' time, and the developer and unlock versions will be joining in at the end of November. He goes on to say the HTC One phones uh, locked to a network, so if you're on AT and T and stuff and it's locked there. Uh, you should see it in about three months' time or ninety days, or less if it go- it goes uh, if everything goes well. So for the Nexus or for the HTC One Max and the One Mini, there's no news like that, which is pretty annoying because they are pretty new phones. Oh, it's getting stormy outside. They're pretty new phones. People are like, oh yeah, the HTC One Mini it's cheaper, and I'm not getting the newest updates. They haven't said anything about it. So Samsung hasn't been quite so forthcoming about its plans. This is. I'm reading this off of digital trends. This is uh, what they're saying. Oh okay. yeah, in a statement provided by S- to CNET UK, it says that it'll be announcing uh, Android 4.4, just a rollout plans. Uh, we'd imagine the Galaxy S4 and the Note 3 would be at the top of Samsung's list for updates, obviously because they're the newest ones. Uh, we did, ma- oh yeah, but one, what am I looking at? I wonder if uh, maintaining compatibility with the Galaxy Gear will slow things down. This is a big thing as well because. They have to worry about the Galaxy Gear because people bought a Note 3 and a Galaxy Gear. So you kind of have to, they have to test even more now to see if the Galaxy Gears work, the Gear works with this. Which, I guess, I don't like buying Samsung phones. or I'm not naming out names really now, but I don't really like buying these phones that are contract locked. And, you know, that you get the updates kind of late and you see everybody with a Nexus device. I try buying the Nexus ones, even though you, you have to wait about a week or... Depends really. You can get it straight away if you can, but it's over the air. It takes a while just to roll out to people so it doesn't completely lag their servers like Apple does. Apple are basically like, oh yeah, here's a new update, download it quick. And it's kind of first come, first server, and then the servers are kind of stuck. <laughs> so that's basically it right now uh, for Samsung and HTC One. Motorola, they've said, uh, they have a website dedicated to software updates. They said that the Moto X will be getting Android 4.4. Sorry, they also said that the Verizon Droid Mini, the Droid Ultra, and the Droid Max are also scheduled to get the new software. So confirmation is coming then, but sadly there's no dates attached. Which still, it is confirmed to get those updates, which is good, but you could probably put a date on it, say, even like two months. Uh... People are still waiting to hear from LG because the G2, the LG G2 is just out right now. It's a new phone. It's LG's flagship phone uh, besides the Nexus 5, I guess. And they said that uh, we can't imagine it will be too long. This is a digital trend now. They said we can't imagine until it's too long before its flagship smartphones gets the Android 4.4 treatment. We'll keep you updated. So that's basically it for all the... uh, phone manufacturers here they're saying oh yeah it's coming in the next uh the dog is going crazy somebody slap him they said it's coming out in the next couple of months next couple of weeks whatever uh phone you have it's different for everyone so that's basically it for today we've did about one two three four five eight stories today so we have the nexus 5 android 4.4 best buy selling their expensive nexus 5 motorola is announcing their project aura phone concept thing um google glass earbuds that's kind of cool i guess <laughs> um google's mysterious san francisco san francisco is on weird there they have the secret barge thing that they were talking about everybody was going crazy with that and we have the uh, moto g which is the motorola's entry-level smartphone kind of compete with other entry-level smartphones i guess and we have Android 4.4 KitKat confirmed for the Moto X, HTC One, Nexus, and Samsung hardware. So basically, that's it for this week, guys. Make sure you check out. Uh, we have a gaming channel right now. 
youtube.com slash galaxy of video games we have to say video of game video games because we couldn't use galaxy of games which we were hoping to do so make sure you follow galaxy of tech on twitter this is where we just post uh, a lot of our videos and you know retweet stuff about different articles and we just have random stuff here and you can just just updates about like if a video is late or something you can just go there so also we have a youtube channel which you're obviously watching right now unless you're watching it on an embedded page but it's youtube.com slash galaxy of tech and that's right here if it loads and we have all our stuff there make sure you hit the subscribe button up here we have 23 subs subscribers uh we're hoping to get uh, at least 33 by next month which basically it is now so the end of november we're ho hoping to gain an extra 10 subscribers we're on about 2,300 views, which I'm impressed with. And yeah, so that's it for the YouTube channel. So make sure you go subscribe there. We're going to post, uh, if we're covering an event, we were going to cover the uh, Google event if there was one. <laughs> but there was none. It was just a blog post, really. And if you want to go over and subscribe there, you can see all the new uh, episodes of this. So every time you uh, a new episode is uploaded. You can either look at Twitter or you can subscribe, which I highly recommend subscribing. We also have another channel called Galaxy of Games. It's youtube.com slash Galaxy of Video Games. Don't get it mixed up, really. Uh, we have two videos out here. It's just Gary's mod, you know, typical, typical stuff. So I already have about six subscribers on that, which is nice. And make sure you go subscribe there. We're going to be playing different games, including Just Cause, if you're kind of a gamer, you can go check that out. Uh, so that's basically it. To all the social networks and stuff we also have google plus which i'm not gonna tell you that you can just go into the description click that link we don't really post as much as we do on twitter and stuff then google plus not I, uh, google plus so we don't post as much uh just go check that out you can still follow us there uh and it'll be nice so yeah thanks for watching this episode of the google guys this was episode 10 i think yeah episode 10 and we had a lot of stories today so I'll talk to you guys next week. And yeah, we'll be talking about whatever. Probably talking about the Nexus 5 again. Just more uh, reviews and stuff coming out. I'll probably buying, be buying this phone. I said that with the Moto X as well, but I couldn't really use US only. So I'm going to be buying this uh, Nexus 5. It's going to take a while because I have to order from the UK. Send it up to uh, Northern Ireland. Then take it all the way down to where I live. And it's going to be kind of a weird process. But I'll have it by Christmas to tell you guys. Maybe after Christmas I might do a review or kind of a walkthrough and tell you guys about it. But even, you can go check out, just Google it. <laughs> because we probably won't even do a review because it's going to take a while for us to get this phone. And yeah, so make sure you check out Twitter and all that. I said that already. And yeah, thanks for watching.